Now you got to go through, you hear my word, now you got to go through your persecution. 2 Corinthians 11 and 22, go ahead and read that. Are they Hebrews? So am I. Uh-huh. Are they Israelites? So am I. Go ahead. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Paul boasts the name. He said, I'm an Israelite. Through and through. Go ahead and read. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. Uh-huh. I am more. He said, he boasts the name. He said, are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I'm more. Go ahead. And labors more abundant. Uh-huh. And stripes above measure. And prisons more frequent. And deaths. Oh, look at this. Now, he being persecuted for the church. He was doing the persecuting first. Now, he's being persecuted. He said, look, abundant in stripes. That's whooping. A whooping. Above measure. In prison, more frequent. I went, more, I went to jail more than any of y'all. In death, more off. I was almost killed more than any of y'all. My life was threatened more than any of you all. Verse 24. Look at look at the night. All this for the word of God now. First he was persecuting the ones that was teaching the word of God and believing in Jesus. Now he per now he getting persecuted for it. Lord really know how to turn things around for you, don't he? Verse 24, go ahead. Of look, the look, Jews. Look, look, look at what he said happened to him. Go ahead. Of the Jews, five times received I for the stripes. Save one. Uh huh. He said, I will see 40 stripes from the Jews. He was with them at first, with the Pharisees, wasn't he? Now he received the stripes from them. He getting whipped. Go ahead and read. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Uh -huh. he said, Once was I stoned. Now, 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 look at this now. He said, Three times I was beaten with rods and I was stoned. Now, this is a physical persecution he getting now, ain't he? This hasn't happened to us. We weren't beat with no rods and 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 uh, 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 three times beaten with rods and one stoned. Ain't none of this happened to us. Well, look at look at all this that's happening to him for the word of God. Persecutions and afflictions are gonna come. You are gonna be despised, of men. Go ahead and read. Twice I suffered shipwreck. Uh huh. A night. In a day, I have been in the deep, in journeys often, in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, uh -huh. in perils might not uh, by my own countrymen. By my own what? Countrymen. By my own countrymen. Because you don't, you don't realize, boy, your, your first enemy might be laying right next to you in the bed. Hmm. Your first enemy. When it comes to this, because you know, a lot of your family members gonna turn on you. Can, you can just you can most rest assured that that's gonna happen. I've been talking to a brother here all down in Mississippi, trying to tell people his people about the word of God. They all turned on. Now this is people. Go ahead and read. In perils by the heathens. Uh huh. In perils in the city. In he said in perils by the heathen. That's the nation. So everywhere he went in these nations, he was in uh, 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 in perils, in perils in the city. Uh huh. In perils in the wilderness. Wherever he went, I mean, well, where else can you go? He went to the wilderness, to the city, to the to the, to the heathens. Everywhere he went, sort of like Jeremiah. What? Go ahead and read. In perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. Uh huh. In wilderness. And painfulness, and watchings often, and hunger and thirst, uh -huh. and fastings often, uh -huh. and cold and nakedness. Now wait a minute now. He went through all this stuff, and we know this stuff though. God delivered him from it though, did he? Because he told you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord has delivered me out of every one of them. Go ahead and read. Beside those things that are without. That which cometh upon me daily. Uh huh. The care of all the churches. He said, Be beside those things that are without, that which cometh upon me daily. Man, that's really something, man. Listen, these things have to take him on a daily basis. He said, You know what? I still had to take care of the care of the church. 
Just like now. You still got to do your duty. Amen. Whatever comes upon, come upon you, dealing with your persecution and affliction, you still got to do your duty in the church. Amen. Still got to do it. Let's go to Acts the 21st chapter. We got two more. Acts 21, I just want to remind us of uh, these things that's going to happen to us. This persecution and affliction that's going to come uh, upon us. Acts 21 and 8. Acts 21 and 8. Go ahead and read it. And the next day, we there were of Paul's company departed. Uh-huh. Because Paul, you know, he's going to get a little deeper with this. You think he was deep then with the perils of water, the perils of the healing, and all this stuff. Look, he's going to really get deep now. Look how deep he's going to go. Go ahead and read. And came unto... Starting over, verse 8. And the next day, we there were of Paul's company departed and came unto Caesarea. Uh -huh. And we entered into the house of Philip the evangelist, uh -huh. which was one of the seven, and abode with him. Go ahead. And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. And as we tarried there many days, there came down from Judea a curtain, a certain, certain prophet named Agabus. Uh -huh. And when he has come unto us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet and said, uh -huh. Thus saith the Holy Ghost, so shall the Jews that Jerusalem buy the men that owneth his, this girdle. But I'm talking about Paul now. You know, and he was come uh, uh, to us. He took Paul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet and said, Now you're being real dramatic, ain't you? Take the guy's girdle and start, <laughs> tell him, start uh, uh, tying himself up. And said, Thus said the Holy Ghost, so shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the man that owneth this girdle. So Paul is the one who owned it. So this is what's going to happen to Paul. Go ahead. And shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. Go ahead. And when we heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. So now they're telling Paul, the people who are there, they're telling Paul, don't go up. They say you're going to get killed or nothing. They just say you're going to bind him up, right? You know, most people try to look at this and say, Paul went down, he went down into uh, Jerusalem illegally. Uh, why, would, why would you say that? Because the Holy Ghost told him not to go and he disobeyed God. I'm like, man, the book just said the, the man just bound up his girl and told him, look, man, the man that owned his girl, this is how he's going to be bound up. If he go to Jerusalem, he didn't tell him not to go. But they trying to get him not to go. The Holy Ghost didn't tell him not to go, did he? He just said the man that go to Jerusalem, he's going to be bound up. Like, this, like you see me bound up in this girl. That's it. Paul went to Jerusalem this time illegally. <laughs> People come up with any type of thing. But go ahead, man. So, so, and when he had heard these things, both we and they of uh, that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Because they didn't want to be bound like the man bound himself with that girl. Right? Because that's all he said. The Holy Ghost said, right? Right. So now they try to persuade Paul not to go. What Paul say? Go in. Verse 13. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? Uh, he said, What mean ye to weep and, weep and break my heart? Go in. For I am ready not to be bound only, uh -huh. but also to die at Jerusalem Ooh. for the name of the Lord Jesus. He's the one saying, I'm not only ready to be bound, but I die for the name of the Lord Jesus. He didn't want to put death on the table, did he? But you see how deep he went with this? He said, man, I'll go down to Jerusalem and die. You know, y'all breaking my heart with this. Telling me not to go down to Jerusalem. Don't you know I'll go down to Jerusalem and die for the name of the Lord? Not only be bound, but to die for the name of the Lord. And that is really something, ain't it? He had took this, he had taken his scourges and his beatings and rods and, and the stone and all that. He had taken that into consideration and said, you know what? I'm going to die for this if I have to. Although I have been persecuted and afflicted, I'm ready to die now for this. And that is really something, ain't it? A man tell you I'm ready to die for something, boy. You best get out of his way. Because he is, he mean what he say, don't he? And he believe in what he doing, don't he? 
Verse 14. And when he would not be persuaded, we ceased, saying, The will of the Lord be done. They said, Okay, Paul, because he must have he must have really told them more. <laughs> they said, Okay, Paul, go on and do your thing then. Let's go to Hebrews 12 and 1. We got one more. Hebrews 12 and 1. That is really, that is really deep there, ain't it? He ready to die for the word of God. Although he went into prison, he was mocked, he was beaten, all of this stuff. He said, you know what? I'm ready to give my life for this. <laughs> Paul had already conceded, man. This is, this is what time it is. This is it. Hebrews 12 and 1. Hebrews 12 and 1. I mean, so a lot of times, that's how we feel. You know, once you, once you come into this word of God, you just get settled in it. And you just gird up in your loins. Then, man, this is it right here. Amen. I ain't going, ain't nothing better than this. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 1. Go ahead and read it. Wherefore, sin, we also are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses. Uh-huh. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth to so easily beset, beset us. Uh -huh. And let us run with patience the race that is set before let us. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Because remember, God hath chosen us. Yes. So let us run this race that is set before us. Despite all the naysayers and all the mockings and all of that type of stuff. Let us run this race that was set before us. Go ahead and read. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. See, see, because you got to have, you got to believe in the Lord. You got to have faith in God that he will bring you through this. Yes. Go ahead and read. Who? For the joy that was set before him endureth the cross. Uh-huh. Despising and the shame. And he knew he was going to the cross. And he suffered and was persecuted all the way to the cross. Then when he gave humbled himself to the cross. Did he? he? He endured. So if he had to humble himself and endure, so can we. Because we're just going to go through some daily things. We haven't resisted under blood yet. Go ahead and read. Despising the shame. And is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Look at what uh, reward he received after he went through all the persecutions and mocking and prison and all. Because Jesus went to prison too. He even went to the cross. And look at re the reward that he received after he went through all of this. And he knew what was going to happen to him before it happened to him. Go ahead and read. What verse you at? Verse 3. Uh-huh. For consider him that endures such contradictions of sinners against himself. Uh-huh. Lest ye be weary and fainted in our minds. Lest ye be weary and faint in your minds. Verse 4. Ye have not yet resisted upon, unto blood, uh -huh. striving against sin. You have not yet resisted unto blood, striving against sin. You haven't resisted unto blood yet. In no shape, form, or fashion, really. Not just striving against sin. Ain't nobody came to you and mocked you where you were to kill yourself. <laughs> or they was getting ready to kill you for the word of God. Like what's coming. Because it's going to be martyrs around the coming of the Lord. It's going to be some martyrs. I hope I'm not one of them. But if I am, so be it. Matthew 5, I just hope the Lord strengthened me enough that I can say, hey, go ahead and do what you got to do. But I ain't pre I, I'm going to preach in the name of Jesus. Amen. Matthew 5 and 7, Matthew 5 and 7. Matthew 5 and 7. When you get it, go ahead and read. Everybody got it? Amen. Go ahead and read. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Uh-huh. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Go ahead. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they that which are persecuted for the righteousness' sake. You see that? Blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake. Because that's what we deal with, walking in righteousness, right? 
And people are going to talk. You go take them the Sabbath day and see how you persecute. Jesus changed the Sabbath. Oh, man, you don't get me that one guy tell him, man, you can throw the commandments in the garbage. And then uh, called me out my name and everything. <laughs> Bless our name which I persecute for righteousness sake. Go ahead. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Uh-huh. Blessed are ye when men shall revive you. Blessed are you when men shall revile you, uh-huh. And persecute and you. And persecute you. Go ahead. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Now, get, 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 let this sink in. If you ain't heard nothing else that we have uh, read today, let this sink in. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Go ahead and read. 12. Uh huh. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. And it is again, ain't it? Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. But you know, you probably, it's until you practice and, and you know, grow yourself up to this, you probably going to be angry at the men and women that come to you like this. But know that the, this thing right here uh, is going to happen. The persecution of is going to happen you just like the master saying it is. So when it happened, if you can recall this to mind, you know that you should re be rejoicing because you are blessed. You might be hating on men, but you love them God. And you are blessed of God. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Go ahead. For great is your reward in the heaven. Just re great is your reward in heaven. Just like Jesus got his reward, didn't he? As he went through all his persecution and affliction, even to the cross, he got his reward, didn't he? And you're going to get yours too. It's not going to be in the third heaven. It's going to be here, but you're going to get yours too. Because I don't want nobody to say, oh, he said you're going to go to heaven. No, I ain't saying that. <laughs> Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Uh huh. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And Jesus too. So I thank everybody for coming out and I thank you. God, the godly despised and persecuted. Thank you.